Today on the channel, we're taking a look at Masters of the Universe, the new adventures of He-Man, Skeletor. Um, it was really tough for me to get this figure. Um, it, they're a Target exclusive, and I thought resellers would be selling them on like um, Amazon, or maybe they get to sent to Toys R Us or GameStop or something. But these figures were were not sent to Canada in any such way, and like the only way I was able to get this thing, um, like you, like there'd be postings on eBay, but like eBay is just unacceptable, like shipping prices to Canada. It's basically fifty dollars for anything you order from eBay. So, yeah. So, I, so I waited and waited. Like I think this figure came out about a year ago, but I like I never gave up hope to getting it. I was like, I will get this figure. I just got to keep, you know, trying and trying, and I'll be able to get it. And. Uh, to date, I haven't been able to get the, the He-Man version, uh, um, like from the the new new adventures He-Man or whatever. I haven't been able to get him yet. So, and he's even getting like tougher and tougher to find online. So, I will eventually get him, but it's going to be tough to get. So, yeah, I really, really am happy that they uh, they made this version of Skeletor because, like, I think I'd say that this is like. Like, this in the movie version of Skeletor is, like, my version of Skeletor. So, like, I never, I don't remember seeing this cartoon, like, at all. Like, maybe I saw it as a kid, but I don't remember. I just remember, like, seeing this new version of Skeletor on the toy pegs and the new He-Man. And I just was instantly in love with uh, the way they looked. So, like, I guess, like... Like, this Skeletor looks more like the movie Skeletor. Like, he's more like a scary-looking uh, Skeletor. And and just the body proportions. Like, when I saw these, like, He-Man figures, finally they didn't have that, like, weird um, He-Man body type where they're, like, you know, very, very, like, wide and short and they're all, like, the same looking. Like, these guys actually had, like, normal human proportions. So... And just him looking scarier, and just, I really liked the look. Um, and then the He-Man, like, a lot of people hate that He-Man, and I totally understand, like, if the cartoon is terrible, or whatnot. But I, that's, like, one of my favorite He-Mans, like, uh, for the main reason that he has pants. Like, I remember thinking as a kid, finally, He-Man has pants, and he doesn't have that, like, cloth, uh, loincloth. Like, because that, I don't know. It was always, like, a bad look, I thought. Like, I thought he looked cool. But seeing him in pants, I was like, oh, he looks so much better, like, wearing, like, spandex-type pants, like, a, like, superheroes would, or wrestlers or something. So, yeah, I really like this, uh, this, these, these looks of the character. So, yeah. So let's take a look at this Skeletor. So let's take a look at the package here for this new adventure's Skeletor. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Masterverse packaging, like, you'd think... Normally, Masters of the Universe has, like, the best packaging, but, like, this, from the front anyways, it's pretty boring. Like, it's just pretty dark down here, and this this whole, like, hieroglyphics-looking kind of stuff at the top doesn't really make sense because, I don't know, it just kind of gives it, like, an Egyptian vibe. And then, to this day, I don't know what, if anyone has found out what this, uh, this barcode is here for, like, it just, it's very out of place. And so, yeah, I don't like the packaging for these. The figures look good though, like in the packaging, and like it has that like nice looking rock um, look to it behind him. Like that looks really great. But like, so maybe if the packaging was all done in rock too or something, and it was like a blue color. But but then yeah, like you have the the beautiful artwork on the side. So I don't know. So the, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of the front of the package, but then you have again beautiful art here. Cross cell looks great, and then again, and then again, very boring on the side here. But oh, it's nice that the like I guess the Masterverse line that no matter what kind of figures there are from like the different types of He-Man storylines and and stuff that like there's a, a uniformity to the packaging. So like as you can see, mine came pretty dinged up and, and banged up. It has like this like glue here from like a previous sticker but I'm just going to be unboxing this so I'm happy to have it it's fine so here he, here he is out of the package he comes with uh, two extra fist hands 
And as you can see, he comes with two like gripping hands. And then he comes with this like, is it called a Havoc staff? And it comes with this like cool like blade thing on the bottom here. Looks really good. It is a little bit thick, like the handle is massive. I'm surprised the the size, the scaling of this figure altogether, like the size of this thing, the thickness of this, like it's just massive. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then he comes with his helmet. It's got that nice like skull on the front. I always thought it was a good look, him wearing this helmet. I don't know why. Again, I just thought the whole look was always really great. Um, the figure has like a really nice blue to it. It's a very good looking figure, just like at first glance. Uh, see, uh, yeah, it's another thing I really like about these figures is they have their pinless joints, which looks, looks really nice. They're really nice looking figures with the, with the no pins. Um, yeah. The only thing that's kind of a little shabby is this tiny little like rope around his neck and then it attaches like like kind of a little shabbily, but it's not attached very much either. Like versus if the cape would like, you know, went all the way around or something attached more. But it does come with a cloth goods cape here. Pretty nice cape. He does come with his like chest armor piece here. Two more skulls. He's got another skull here. It's very scully. It's got his like these like weird things coming out of his body here. They look they're like kind of veins, and they look, but they're like tubes. And then he's got these like armor plates here, and he's got his like weird. Or he's got just like normal feet actually, but just with like some spikes on the side really, instead of having like some sort of creature foot. I wonder, I don't know, I, I thought that maybe in the original one he had some sort of like creature feet, but maybe it was, maybe it was like this. I don't know. I don't have, I did have the original two figures, as I said. Um, I no longer have them, like I don't have like, yeah, like the old toys from back in the day or whatever. Oh, and then he has this thing around his head here. I don't even know that really. I don't remember that. The head looks great. The sculpt, the paint, everything looks pretty great. He looks a little more like intense, a little more scary, just like the movie Skeletor versus the cartoon one, I guess. Um, lots of articulation, no butterfly joints, but there's tons of movement here. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Yeah, tons of articulation everywhere. What's he got going on down here? Has he got a boot cut? He does have a boot cut. With these massive boots, ankle articulation, yeah. I don't think it has side to side, but it has up and down. Man, I'm, I hope I can get that, uh, that He-Man. <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait. So, I, yeah, like this thing came out about a year ago, and I just was able to purchase him a week ago off of a reseller on Amazon. So... Yeah, and that ended up working out pretty good. I was happy with the price, and I'm happy with the figure. It's very happy to get it. I thought it was actually going to be kind of easier to get the He-Man, and this one was going to be a little tougher, but that's the way it goes sometimes, I guess. Um, one thing, uh, I'm surprised this figure back in the day never came with a sword, and also, like, a, I guess I thought maybe, oh, they'll throw in a sword with this one or something. Like, I do remember, like, fighting, as a kid, fighting He-Man, like, with this with his staff and like He-Man would have his sword and I was always like, oh, I wish that uh, at some point in the battle, like, you know, He-Man would like break this thing or get knocked out of his hands and then Skeletor would go to his like, switch to his sword and then like the real fight would be on. So, cause like they can't have a sword fight cause he doesn't have a sword. But I guess you could grab a sword from another um, Skeletor or just another character or something like that. Some sort of like evil looking sword or something like that like i do have the movie version one so i guess you could use that one if you were uh, if you just wanted to pose him with it or if you're like a kid and you want to play with them or something so he stands very easily because you got these giant boots and these giant feet it seems like yeah it's no problem to, to have him stand looks really good with the havoc staff 
Yes, he looks great. <laughs> yeah, I was very excited when they said this was being released. But then, of course, they were like, oh, it's Target exclusive. So I went, uh oh, it's going to be tough to get them. Well, that's it for the unboxing review of the new adventure Skeletor. Very happy to have the figure. Love the figure. Um, yeah, just really happy I was able to get it. Um, I'm, I'm John Soroka. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks. Bye.